Hi, today we are going to be taking an unboxing review look at Bayboy Burst Evolution Swiss Strike Excalius set. So, this is a set that they finally came out with here in America from Hasbro to be exclusive to Excalius. Which, as you know, in Japan, from Takari Tomi, they always had something like this. They came out with Excalibur, this, I think the second Excalibur, and the first Excalibur, and now I hear that they're going to come out with a fourth Excalibur, which should be from Bayway Chosen Z, which is going to be like Super Bayway over here in America that's going to come out as. Don't know if they are going to release the fourth version of him. But hopefully they do. But uh, anyway. Yeah, so this launcher that we get right here is a new exclusive Hasbro one. So, I mean, it's not even a Takari Tony one. But it is a merger of the two Takari Tony ones. So if you know Takari Tony, the original sword launcher, it kind of has, I believe, the length of the original sword launcher, which they count in two versions. There's the first one, which I believe was red, I want to say, which was the first wave. It didn't have any finger guards, so people, they weren't holding it right. They're hurting their fingers. The base wasn't launching because their fingers were too close to the bay when they try to launch it. And then they came with version, the same thing, but a little bit different. In version 1.2, I guess you could call it. I believe that one was the blue one. It looked just like version 1.0, you know. The original web version, except it was in a blue color, I believe. And it had a little bit of a finger guard on it. And then it came with the digital sword launchers, which is kind of where it gets kind of like some of this fat body to it. It's kind of like from the digital sword, sword launcher. Which there was two. There was the red one and a blue one. What was the difference between the red and blue? One was red, one was blue. One cost a little bit less, one cost a little bit more. That was it. It wasn't like, you know, Sir Launcher 1.0 red and 1.2 blue. Which, you know, the red one was the first account of red, no finger guard. The blue one was a copy of the red one, just recolored blue and had finger guard. It didn't really change that much, like, oh, it had more spin power and stuff. And we're going to get onto the whipcord on this. Because there is something very special about the Hasbro one versus the Kartomi one. So as you can see, it shows you a little bit more what the sword launcher looks like. <coughs> we still get Excalius, X3. Same little flower right here, just recovered in a new cover. Which we'll get to that when we open it up. Now this one has left and right spin on the launcher so um, I don't remember if the original one had that I think the original one was just white spin only so attack is 11 burst is 4 defense 0 weight 8 agility 2 stamina 0 and yeah the bay has the same gimmicks as this one obviously oh, because it's the same as that one now the parts change just the color And this kit, I believe, was 20 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was 20. Could even say it could have been the $30 one. But I'm pretty sure this one was at least 20. Uh, come on, why ain't this thing opening up? There we go. Oh, there is paperwork behind here. The paperwork is not actually behind, like, laying in front of this, behind the plastic there. You do actually have to move this cardboard, and there was the paperwork laying right in there. So, I was going to say, wait a minute, there's no paperwork in this Bayboy set? That's kind of, you know, odd. 
but there is paperwork. It just tells you, you know, how to put together the bay, and now it finally tells us how to use the sword launcher. Which, I mean, we don't even need to know because, hey, <laughs> it's pretty simple. So let's just open it up here. It is taped, not taped, but swept down. Well, on this, you just gotta cut the bottom one here. You don't need to cut this little top one, and the sword launcher just pops right out. out. Now, for the winder, you do need to cut the winder free. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, let's pop out the driver. And then again, you know, the force disc and the actual energy layer, you do need to cut those out. There you go. <coughs> yeah, like I said, it's that same thing. Just this one's got a light greenish blue to it. This one's a dark blue. Uh, they did have the eyes painted in here on this one. Let me see if I can get 